Hi guys, so I've popped into Primark. I can't believe it's 2023 already, so it's the first one of the year. I'm really excited to show you what I've got. There was loads of sale stuff. If you like lots of colours and all that sort of thing, um, the sale section would be great for you. They didn't have loads of stuff that I liked in it. I did pick up a few bits though, so I'll show you what I've got in that sense. But I loved all their new in stuff as well. So the last couple of times I've moaned about how my Primark bag's been ripping and I finally got myself one of their reusable ones. It's only pound for this massive one um, and it's got the big handles on as well which they are slightly too long for me. It kind of felt heavier, do you know what I mean, if they're like too long but it's not going to tear in the rain and it always rains when I go Primark so <laughs> I always end up with a really holy bag. Right, so the first item anyway that I got was this really gorgeous cropped cardigan now i saw this and this was on like the tables but in the reduced section but it didn't have a red sticker on so i thought well, i'm gonna pick it up anyway because i've got the cream one and i wear that so much and it's just so good for throwing over stuff like when you're chilling around the house but they can just throw on some jeans and you look quite nice for going out as well and i do love this kind of color at the minute so you can see it's brown with like it's almost got white flecks in it and yeah i just feel like these are all my colors at the moment lovely tortoiseshell button so it was originally 14 pounds i picked this up in a six to eight i think it's because they come quite oversized um let's have a look how much it was i don't know it's really hard to tell from the receipt actually what's what do 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 because there's something called a mini sweat dress on my receipt but obviously this isn't a dress so this could be 14 pounds it could be slightly cheaper but nevertheless i know i'll get my wear out of it because i've already got the cream one and i love it and because i am back at work i actually went in to get some like skinny fit work trousers because i've got some new boots like knee high boots which i'm absolutely in love with and i want to get my money's worth out of but then i come across these and they're like they're kind of slightly flared so they've got a it's going to be really difficult actually to show you on camera they've got like um what do you call it it's like a false crease down the center which is always really flattering because it draws the eye doesn't it to the center of the leg and it helps slim them down and then you can see there's a slight boot cut to it which i know these are like really on trend at the minute i'm not sure what shoes i'd wear with these to go to work in so do let me know if you've got any ideas um, but yeah, I really like the cut and they're really stretchy and really comfy as well. I did get these in a size 10. I maybe should have upped to a size um, 12. But then they've got a bit of stretching, so we'll see. It just depends how much, like, how tight they are around my tummy. These were £14, so I thought these were quite good. They had some more, like, smarter, you know, that kind of, like, formal trouser feel. They had some of those in the new section and they were more expensive than these ones. These are, like... They're almost like a really thick legging material, but I feel like they're going to look smart when they're on and I think I'll be able to get away with them in the office. Well, I hope I will anyway. I'm doing this sit down bit as well before I've actually tried any of the items on. So I can't say whether they look nice or don't look nice or whether I'm feeling it or not at the moment. But if there's any like additional like comments that i'll make i'll put them in the try on clips we just want to jump in and talk about these black trousers because i love the style of them so flattering but way too long for me like not even with heels these would work for me so if you're taller than me i'm only five foot three to five foot four then yeah these might be a good option for you uh, I'm on, or if you've got super long legs because i'm short with short legs but yeah i would say five foot six and above maybe for these trousers so the next item that i got are these mom jeans stretch high waist i got these in a 10 if you're in between sizes like me you can size down on these and um, these are only 13 pounds and they are the best mom jeans ever i'm actually wearing mine today and oh, they're just so comfy and i got another pair because i put mine in the tumble dryer and i would say they're not quite a skinny jean they are around the thigh but um yeah they're definitely tighter fitting than they were originally so i thought i'd pick another pair up because they're so comfy you know it's like when you're wearing jeans when it's like really thick jean material they feel really good quality they do but when you're a mum and you're like bending down and picking stuff up and you're moving and stuff you just want to be comfy as well and these are the perfect jean for that and to be honest with you i can't get over the price of 13 pounds because i love the wash of them the kind of this kind of like mid blue wash they're just finished off well they're very basic they've got the two pockets at the back but 
just a good jean everyday jean to throw on they go with everything i literally wear them all the time when these ones are in the wash i feel lost Okay, so I just want to make a comment on these jeans because obviously I bought exactly the same pair. I got them in a size 10 last time, like this pair. And this pair are definitely less forgiving around the waist. I mean, unless I've just stretched that pair, which I don't think I would have because I can't ever remember them feeling tighter than they were. But these are definitely tighter around the waist than the pair that I've already got. So it might actually be worth trying them on in the store if you are unsure about your or like size like me um yeah i think i'll keep them because i mean i can still get in them and the plan is to lose a couple of pounds just to get back to like my pre-pregnancy weight um this year but yeah i'm a little bit disappointed that they're not quite as comfortable although they are baggier on the legs because these ones haven't been through the tumble dryer so that those ones are better for the waist but these ones are definitely better for the legs the next item that i got oh yeah okay so i've been after a brown pair of leggings I can't get a brown pair of leggings anywhere. They seem to be really hard to get hold of. I don't know if it's because they're really popular and selling out or whether they're just, I don't know, I'm not in, but I think they are. Like, anyway, going on, I got some brown joggers because I work from home two days a week now. So I have to go in the office for two days and then work from home for two days. Now, back in the day, I could just sit in like office wear or jeans but I don't know, I think it's after COVID and lockdown and also being pregnant and being on maternity. I feel so uncomfortable in anything other than joggers if I'm sitting in the house or pyjamas. I mean, if it's me coming back home from work, I'll just shove my PJs on. But when I'm working from home, I do like to get changed because I feel like it makes me more productive. And I picked up this pair, just really simple pair of brown joggy bottoms. So they're the ones with the cuff on the bottom. I think I did size up and go for a 12 in these ones. Yeah, I went for the 12 to 14 because I just wanted them to be super comfy. And these are only, oh, these are only six pounds. I mean, you can't go wrong, can you? And they're also all fleecy on the inside, which is just, just what you need when you're not putting the heating on as much. I also picked up this bobble hat. So it says it's £3.50, but I swear it was on sale for £2.50 or £2.70. I mean, not expensive anyway. Just love the kind of oatmeal colour. I love the little bobble. I do love a bobble hat. Um, and my hat that I've got at the moment, it doesn't, um, like, do you know this one has the roll-up bit on the bottom, which most do? Mine is just kind of like cut so that it doesn't need that but what i'd say about my head shape is it's kind of makes my face look really big because i've got quite chubby cheeks that come out every time there's a picture of me in the hat i'm like i mean it don't look horrendous but i'm like oh it's not the most flattering so i thought i'd get myself a new one and i've had that one for a few years anyway so yeah for like two pounds something i was like oh i'm not gonna leave that up and i feel like it'll go with like loads of my wardrobe and i do feel like it's smart enough to just kind of pop from the car to the office go on country walks with yeah oh guys and then you would have if you've watched my Primark hauls before, you would know, or actually any of my clothing hauls to be fair, you would know that I absolutely love these from Primark. And I did say I was going to get the actual Converse pair for Christmas. However, I actually looked at the Converse shoes and like all the different types that you get and I just didn't like them as much as the Primark ones. So I went back in thinking that they would be one of those pairs of shoes that they just have all the time and I, they were on sale which you think oh great you get them cheaper but it's made me panic because I feel like they're going to go out of stock and they're not going to bring them back in again and also because they were on sale I mean they were only four pounds how crazy is that for a pair of shoes like this and they go with absolutely everything but they only had a size three so these are the kind of like leather look cream ones honestly dresses jeans like if you're dressing down smart trousers to go shopping in i just find that i compare these with literally most things in my wardrobe and any colors as well but yeah they only had a size three so i've bought them i'm going to try them on i'm going to try and squeeze into them and hopefully stretch them because yeah i'm going to be lost without these if i can't get in them but i did sort of panic by another pair because i was like oh do you like really disappointed because you can't get what you want so I did end up panic buying this pair, <laughs> which is very similar, I know, but the shade is kind of darker, can you see? This is definitely more of a cream, whereas this is more of a beige. And this is also um, like a fabric material, whereas that is like a, 
I would say plastic, it's like a fake leather material. So I thought that these wouldn't be as, um, I don't know, as durable. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, these ones were only £6, so I thought, well, it's not bad, is it? And I feel like these will go with a lot if I'm thinking of this jumper, jeans, like camely colours, beiges, navies, blacks, all of those colours are the ones that I tend to wear in the wardrobe. Um, also, I think the heel, yeah, the heel, can you see the heel isn't quite as wide? I kind of like these because they're kind of chunky, but I find that the chunky trainers don't necessarily suit me i have got some i did buy some from primark but i don't tend to grab them because i don't feel like me in them um but yeah six pounds for a pair of converse looking shoes is really good and if those four pound ones don't fit me i've got the six pound ones so guys these actually fit i am so happy um i've just done my try on clips with them and yeah they do fit admittedly there's not as much like breathing room <laughs> for my feet in the threes than the fours um, but I did measure it um, like in the shop the three compared to the four and there didn't seem to be loads of difference So yes, I'll be keeping these ones thankfully Although my other ones only lasted me like several months So I'm gonna be gutted if they don't bring them back for these spring These plain summer. black sort of slip-on shoes Just super easy to throw on with tights if I'm wearing a dress when I'm going to the office £3.50, oh, they might have even been on offer, they might have even been cheaper than that um, Yeah, and I just thought well I might as well get them. I don't have any really smart shoes at the minute. The ones that I were wearing were from River Island and they were very similar to the slip-on ones from Primark but they had a little bit of a heel and they had like gold trim and a tassel detail at the front and I think over the next sort of like two or three months when I find my office style I'll definitely be going and having a look for some more expensive and more durable office shoes but for now I just thought these will do. Well this might be the dress that's £14. I think that jumper isn't £14 then. I think that Cardi is seven pounds if you are interested in it i think it is i think it's the rib stitch v b whatever that is on the receipt i think that is the cardigan which is a really good price for that because it will just i know i'll wear it non-stop and then as i was saying i am back in the office and oh just some of my old dresses one i feel like they're a little bit dated because i've not been in the office for like three and a half years because i had my first baby literally as we were coming back we went into lockdown so everybody worked from home and then literally the week that my uh, colleagues went back into the office i went off with my second baby so it's been yeah it was like a year for my first a year more year or more actually working from home and then a year for my second so yeah over three years and although i do like some of the stuff it does look a little bit dated now so i just thought let's get some nice office wear to feel good for going back in i don't need loads because i'm only working two days in the office but i still want to feel nice so i went for this dress it's like a camel color um i feel like it'd be really comfy it's almost like a silky ish material i don't know how to explain it almost it does almost feel a little bit like exercise leggings but thicker and not as stretchy um and then it's got this kind of like draw in waist which i was hoping would be flattering kind of hard the mum tum do you know what i mean with this like floaty bit so fingers crossed that suits me when i put it on and then it also has a collar which i thought just smartened it up a little bit i would say the office that i work in it's like smart casual like you can't go in jeans um, or anything like that or trainers but you don't have to be like super smart and wear a blazer all the time so for 14 pounds and i think i did size up oh no i got a 10 to 12 actually um and yeah 14 pounds which i thought was a good price for that i think that will go with my new boots okay so i just want to jump in on this dress as well because i do really like the dress however i just feel like i could have done with going a size down like this collar just kind of wants to sit like way back here and if i put it down here there's like too much material around the waist bit so yeah if you go for this dress and i suppose these are like slightly off the shoulder as well which is okay for a casual look but i do plan on wearing this to the office so yeah if you are going for this dress do not be scared to size down in this one because i just feel like it's a little bit bigger than like normally how primark comes up so yeah but unfortunately that is because i do like it and it feels really soft and it would definitely be such a throw on easy dress like office daytime because it's stretchy as well i mean you could go for lunch in this and you could really you know go for it <laughs> or recovery really go for it and be comfortable so yeah unfortunately it just isn't fitting me and then, 
I feel like you can't go into Primark and then not get yourself some basics. So I picked up these wipe off over ones. These were only 99p. So you get 100 in here. I've been using the small cotton rounds to get rid of my makeup. I'm tending to use micellar water now over face wipes because I used to get the face wipes from Home Bargains but they've changed like the form like the formulation of the actual wipe and they were cheap but had like almost like a luxury feel they were really soft wipes and now they do feel cheap they've they swapped them and the wipe itself is very rough so I'm like no no I don't want to use that on my skin like it, it it doesn't feel very nice so yeah I've started using micellar and oval wipes um but the round ones I find just aren't big enough and it really irritates me like not it feels like I can't get my makeup off as well so yeah for 90p I thought I'd pick some of those up and then the final item because I couldn't resist it could not resist this little cute polar bear um and he was one pound so obviously he was from the Christmas section and they did have loads of Christmas stuff in the sale but I just thought he was so cute. I kind of don't want to put him away though. All of our Christmas stuff is up the attic now. Went up a couple of weeks ago, but he's just so sweet, isn't he? In fact, I feel like he could stay out in one of my daughter's rooms maybe until next year. Um, but yeah, he was only £2.50, so it wasn't expensive anyway. But for a pound, I couldn't leave him in the shop. <laughs> and that was it for this Primark haul. I can't believe we're on 20, like a 2023 haul already, Primark haul. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope your January is going well and that you're like smashing all your goals. But if you're not, don't worry. We're all human. I've fallen off the bandwagon already with some of mine. But I'm trying to set the intention to get there. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.